Am I all right on the mark? You're all right. right. Good evening. I hope. <laughs> no, I'm sure it'd be lovely. I'm just feeling a bit underdressed. <laughs> Thank you. I suppose my attire is quite distinct from yours. <laughs> Perhaps over the course of the evening, some of my accoutrements could make their way onto your body. <laughs> <laughs> I'll get you a set of all brasses. <laughs> what, is there an opportunity what to now? go to the lavvy at any point during this programme? How about now? <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Thanks, Charlie. <laughs> If you, I've know from experience that if you ever like people don't mind you weeing publicly, but if they ever see the urine, they're upset by that. Yeah. Mm. Because uh, I had cause to urinate once publicly. When they saw the bottle, they were deeply disheartened. Mm. Was that in the Royal Variety Show? Um. Yes. <laughs> and the person that was disheartened was none other than Her Majesty, the Queen of England. <laughs> How long do you think you need, Russell? Well, not very long. I don't have to go now. I just wondered what? if there was a natural break. Otherwise, mm. I will <laughs> fulfil <laughs> Paul Merton's win. I, I, I don't mind talking for about a minute and a half so the camera mm. stays on me. So, the other day, I was doing a bit of shopping. <laughs> <laughs> I thought to myself, you know, I haven't really got a I cardigan that really fits me anymore. So, I what I'd do is, I thought, well, I thought, well, I'm going to Marks and Spencer's, because, you know... A lot of these got this squares thing. won't let us do a wee in a bottle, Paul. Well, that's it. Health and safe, safety, and something called decorum. <laughs> thank you very much. Very kind, thank That's you. That's right. I'm actually sorry, I'm sorry to do this. I drink a lot of water when I'm nervous. When I'm nervous. It's very exciting. I'm... Is this a, is this a, this is a sort of showbiz going to the toilet? <laughs> oh, good lord, no, no, no. It's oh, right. <laughs> Powell used to really need a wee before speeches, and I think it made him racist. And I want to tell you. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just keep going. Yeah. Yeah. Should we yeah. Uh, finish the show? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> have to change your tie. Change the tie? It's oh, it's not. strobing. It's strobing. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. There's yeah. a technical term. I just heard one cameraman saying to another, "It strobes like." <laughs> 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 Is that good or bad? I don't know. <laughs> Might be good. Thank you. Um, in all, Mr Leggett spent four days in the lavatory. His first words when he came out were... <laughs> <laughs> in all, Mr Leggett spent four days in the lavatory. His first words when he came out were... <laughs> 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 this won't work now. No, no. <laughs> we dead silence, won't we? Yeah, it will. Right, OK. <clears throat> In all, Mr Leggett spent four days in the lavatory, and his first words when he came out were, I'd give it ten minutes if I were you. <laughs> Pickups first, then. Yeah, I had to bear with us uh, while we uh, repeat some of these jokes and um, expect you to laugh as much as you did the first time. <laughs> but if you do, you'll be letting yourself down. Good evening, run through. Mm. It was a good sign when you start the retakes with good evening. Yes, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> and is it, is it necessary for the host to have his name written up? <laughs> mm. Good evening and welcome. I'm, I'm Jack D. Is that necessary? Well, you know, I've, I've been known to... Introduce yourself as yeah. Des Lynham. Yeah. <laughs> I do that as well. What is that? OK. okay. Good evening and welcome to Have I Got News For You. I'm Jack Dee. In the news this week, after a recent spate of thefts from the Brighton Aquatic Centre, store detectives are confident they've finally got their man. <laughs> it, it is better with a picture, in fact. They've got a bigger laugh without the picture. Yeah. <laughs> this is a very intelligent crowd. <laughs> They're probably more of a radio audience. <laughs> <laughs> That's a phenomenon, that. It's got a bigger laugh. Yeah. <laughs> We're wasting our time doing stuff in vision. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Oh, right, jumping right to the end, are we? Yeah, they're going to use the yeah. last one as well. Yeah. yeah. Okay, yeah. yeah. That's very good. Is that really all there was? In, in, it's just that and this? They've lost the will to edit. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> After 18 years, you can't, oh, that'll yeah. do, whatever. <laughs> Yep, 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 bang it all out. <laughs> yep, 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 yep. <laughs> Don't show the pictures, cos the laughs are funnier. <laughs> really, honestly. And I leave you with news that as the election for London mayor continues, Boris Johnson's transport advisor denies he's out of touch with the realities of modern life in the capital. Taking the piss, it's wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> Can you come back next week? And in London, in London. We could get their names and addresses. <laughs> <sighs> the next step is a try without even any words. <laughs> we just sit here. Series you're clapping 30. yourself as well now. <laughs> you don't need us. Why? What are you doing here? <laughs> Just sit in the park and laugh. <laughs> okay, I'll shut up. <laughs> <laughs> and in London, one housewife discovers that there is something worse than opening the door to a couple of Jehovah's Witnesses. <laughs> That's got pictures department depressed, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> oh, so, uh... Take out the words next week. We mm. just sit there looking at them. Series 35, there was a breakthrough. Yeah. <laughs> it was never the same after that. Yeah. These photos have been holding us back. <laughs> imagine how many years we'd be going if we didn't have photos. <clears throat> so oh, there's a legal something. coming up here. Now, this should be funny. Mm. <laughs> Of course, in the interest of balance, I should point out that there are other. Su oh, I'll start again. <laughs> <laughs> they are now laughing not at the words, at the mistakes. Yeah. <laughs> so we've moved on. No words, no pictures. <laughs> it's yeah. a breakthrough in light yeah. entertainment. Uh, we'll <laughs> <laughs> now I'm smiling, and they like that as well. Yeah. <laughs> Like wasted like, the last 20 they, years. They show <laughs> uh, a few words. Good evening. Good evening. Good. <laughs> I hope you're all going to vote Boris next week. <laughs> I said that in the interests of balance. <laughs> BBC is very worried <laughs> that we might try and influence the election. <laughs> I so, view, so another four years of Ken, then. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not happy with my glass isn't very clean. <laughs> they're not, are they? No, they're quite... Damn it, none of these glasses are clean. Are they trying to kill us? Okay. <laughs> Cutbacks. But th this isn't even water. <laughs> <laughs> yes, certainly, they're moving me to the right, which is in the interest of balance again. <laughs> Indeed. It's better. I know, it's my temperature, I'm afraid. Vote Paddock. <laughs> Excuse me. I've never seen you so fierce about any news story. I could tell you anything and you'd say, yeah, it might have happened. Elvis in London, no. <laughs> it did not happen. No, it didn't. I'm sure you're right. It's just... Well, it's the bit that Tommy still has to explain, how Elvis got from the airport to <laughs> a taxi in London without anybody knowing and back again. That's the bit he's having a bit of difficulty with. He could have come in a stealth bomber. And all yeah, yeah not in 1958. <laughs> Unless they were so secretive, we didn't, they didn't even know they had them. <laughs> <laughs> and on a walkabout in London, Ken and Boris are quick to react as Brian Paddock falls down a manhole. Notice it wasn't Tommy and Elvis. 
in London. <laughs> Elvis meets the Queen. I'm a big fan of yours. <laughs> Have your bottle, please, suede shoes. <laughs> Sorry, man, I'm so sure it's a nice little bit. I just want you to know, you How very interesting. <laughs> <laughs> Will you follow the Rocky Biddy style you were we'll pioneered in the Sun Studio days, or do you think we'll go more rock and roll? Well, no, I'm so sure it's a nice little bit. I was like, I was like, I was like, I was down the toilet, probably, man. <laughs> <laughs> I've got one of those as well. Why am I wasting my time doing this? <laughs> time now for the odd one out round. Just one between you this week. Hillary Clinton, Bear Grylls, Elvis and Thomas Constan. Elvis. <laughs> <laughs> You've gone from not believing this story to, to trumpeting the very accuracy of it. Because he's the only friend of Tommy's deal. Yeah. Yeah. I have no idea whether it's true or not. I'm just interested by... I mean, we've lost How mad you are. <laughs> <laughs> but it's a mad story, as I say, because, yeah. it, you know, it's like saying, well, you know, the most famous photograph person in the world came to a huge capital city and nobody knows about it and hasn't yeah. known about it for 50 years. You know. Hitler lived in Woking for a yeah. few years. <laughs> 33 to 37. Yeah. yeah. Selling garden ornaments. <laughs> this is not my destiny! These <laughs> 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 gnomes with their wrong. stupid fishing rods. <laughs> <laughs> We have no reason to believe Tommy Steele lied about this. <laughs> he, yeah, he came here he in 1958, lie. he went round London, he met the Queen. <laughs> uh, the Queen said, tell me, do you actually have a wooden heart? <laughs> I don't want to help man, my kidney's made out of plastic, you know, man. What's it? What? I don't know what the fuck it is. <laughs> what is this? This is something that goes out on the internet, just but you don't have to worry. Like okay, right, right, here we go. Now, um, I'll try and make sense. Yeah. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. <laughs> 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 Hello, uh, I'm Brian Blessed, and welcome to this special webby. <laughs> I'm so sorry, we'll never fucking finish. Here we go. <laughs> Hello, I'm Brian Blessed, and welcome to this special webby sode edition of I Got News For You. Yes, a webby sode. Well, I've no idea. You clicked on the thing. You should know what it is. Now, before we continue, as an actor, I need to know what my motivation is for doing this. As far as I'm concerned, it's so we can all go home. <laughs> so stand by to enjoy Ian and Paul, along with this week's guests, <laughs> Marcus Brigstock and Alan Duncan, MP. <laughs> okay. Thanks, Alan. Be, be a good boy. I'll try to be a good boy. <laughs> yes. And here's a blessed in disguise for you, Paul and Marcus. Yes, <laughs> Is it Pol Pot? <laughs> <laughs> Master strikes at an open air pool in Dorset as the attendant starts hoovering the leaves before the last swimmer is out. Fuck. <laughs> 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 right, calm down. Quick, the fucking taser! Get a 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 taser! Yes, he told Jack Straw it was like a holiday camp. Heidi hi. With drugs that cheap, they certainly were. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't write this. I didn't write this. <laughs> I didn't want prisoner to describe this. Did you do this. that in the middle of Shakespeare? I did. Yes, I did write this. <laughs> this pun's gone down badly. I didn't write it. <laughs> Married, sir. Thy cock's got this too big. 
And I mean, there's a, there's a tremendous amount of snobbery about Shakespeare in so many aspects of it. I mean, says John Gill, go to talk like that, says John Gill, National Theatre. I used to goose him when I was there every day. <laughs> go down the corridors and goose the great actor, says John Gill. Oh, leave me alone, Brian, I'm a great actor. <laughs> he said to Michael Brown, you know that Brian, blessed, he's a terrible man, but he's a lovely bit of rough. <laughs> Referring to your <laughs> collar. <laughs> very good eyesight in the polls, aren't they? <laughs> Excellent <laughs> eyesight. They're known for I it. mean, well, considering they're at it all the time. Uh, <laughs> 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 no, that's deafness. You'll get deaf, don't you, if you shag too much. <laughs> Half past two. <laughs> Half past two. <laughs> Osama bin Laden's son, Dave. Dave. No. <laughs> I love it with these eggheads when I win. <laughs> you're the chairman, you're not meant to win. I'm <laughs> <laughs> not meant to win. You've got the answer. I don't get any points. No. <laughs> don't, don't, don't I say to that you. I would you... rather ruin the quiz since you're reading out the question <laughs> and <Don't>... answer. <laughs> but, but, but don't I say, I mean, you may not confer. Did I say that? No, I don't. No, that's no you can say anything you <laughs> like <laughs> and, and have, I think. <laughs> <laughs> the internet, I know this story. I'm not going to get any points now, because you've told me You're not going to get any points. Look, but this is rather like Swampy years yes. ago. When you, we'll re-edit it. And yeah. then, but you deserve it, because your knowledge was so sensational. Thank you very much. And I'm very, very partial to you. Are you? In fact, I'm madly in love with you. Yeah. But there we go. <laughs> <laughs> so, I better, I, um... I better brace myself. <laughs> <laughs> falling in love, too. What did you say, darling? <laughs> well, you're too I think timing. You're, Alan, I think you're lovely. Thank you. I think you're gorgeous. You're my, you're my second choice after uh, Paul. Paul. <laughs> <laughs> well, I've got off you now. You can't even remember me name. No, 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 no. I'm now deaf in my left ear. <laughs> <laughs> well, you must be used to that. No, no, no. No, 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 no. no. That's absolutely disgraceful. I mean, that's absolutely disgraceful. Sorry about it, Alan. I, though I fancy you like mad, I shouldn't have said that. <laughs> <laughs> I just love your ear. <laughs> no, it's bad day. It's bad day. Eddie, <laughs> come on, I promised my wife I'd control myself. Now, this <laughs> week... <laughs> oh, I get terrible wind. <laughs> Completely losing my bloody way. <laughs> Can I just say, Brian, thank you for having us on your show. <laughs> this, this is your chance to see some bits of the show that you may not have seen before. Maybe you were off making a cup of tea or something. I don't know. <laughs> Anyway, what? <laughs> 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 Maybe we're off. What? <laughs> Maybe you're off making a cup of tea or something, or stroking a cat or something, I don't know. <laughs> on the buscocks, we have a, a little belt pack that goes on the belt. It's slightly bigger, bu bigger budget. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> they just plug it into the mains here, yeah, that'll do. Maplins, four ninety nine. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, well. What a great honour to be back. <laughs> right. In Britain. <laughs> Get what? What is it now? It's quite right. Just thinking it might be Brian Blessed again, but thank God. No. <laughs> well, I did a radio show with him, and he was just—he swore constantly the whole time. Yeah. It's just impossible to. To control, he's like, I fucking, 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 This is Radio Four. It goes out at half past six. <laughs> Have you got any other anecdotes, Brian? <laughs> <laughs> no. Well, yes. the last thing I was doing was doing the uh, election of the London mayor, and until seeing Brian Blessed, I couldn't think of an alternative candidate to succeed. <laughs> Boris, and I think it's absolutely clear who should get the job, Mary. It'd be great, wouldn't it? Yeah. Just put him on the buses. It'd clear any night. <laughs> Well, there'll be no more knife crime. Nope. Yeah. 
You mean, why don't we go to that fucking knife? I put that knife away. I rip your fucking head off. <laughs> I've got to say something. I apologise in advance. OK. But this is very strange and odd. But, is, it uh, is it illegal, note? No, it's, it's... I don't know what it is. It's one of the weirdest things... I've, one of the weirdest requests I've ever been asked okay. in television. All right. Not all barn owls are called Mr Peters. <laughs> Evidence for that. <laughs> that can't be a legal requirement, surely. <laughs> I represent a barn owl in Somerset <laughs> whose name is Tim Benwick. <laughs> and in Gloucester. That's how I'd do it. And in Gloucester. <laughs> Shake your head as well. I was thinking about doing it. And in Gloucester. And in Gloucester. <laughs> okay. Probably not that one then. <laughs> Is that all right? Oh no, oh, it wasn't all right. <laughs> I was just saying, if that one's all right, I'll do them all like that. <laughs> Round two. <laughs> okay. OK, we're off now, cos if I'm not home by midnight, the wolves get restless. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck is that? Few words they want me. a few words from me. Yeah. Um, Penguin goes into a pub. Does he? Yeah. And uh, he says to the barman, yeah. have you seen my brother? Yeah. And the barman says, I don't know, what does he look like? Yeah. <laughs> well, that went down well. <laughs> Where are they going now? <laughs> Did the penguin not want to tell him? No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry. Okay, sorry. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. gone mad. You're fired. <laughs> <laughs> it's brutal, but it's how we do it. <laughs> what does less swearing and funnier mean? <laughs> Thing or a bad it's been the show's motto since programme one. <laughs> <laughs> Usually ignored. You think I'm going to get a punch in the face the way you strolled? <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> My cap's here. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> My cap's here. I just said that. Is it? My cap's here. Goodbye. That's what it says on the autocue, my cap's here. Yeah, but you said cap, sorry. Did I say cap? <laughs> my cap's here. My cap's here. Your cat's here. Your cat's here. <laughs> <laughs> it's in a ring. A little diamond. My cap's, my cap's here. Goodbye. Cap's here. Goodbye. Did little I say my cap's here? Oh, I'm not going home in the cap. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, my tax is here. Goodbye. Yeah, okay. Now, this is all, none of this will make any sense to you at all. Okay. <clears throat> or indeed anybody. Uh, okay. Not, okay. Paul and Ian, take a look at this. <laughs> be specific, for God's sake. What? What is it? Where? <laughs> it could be anywhere. <laughs> and finally, uh, which one of these is Kate? <laughs> <laughs> Who is the other person? It's a presenter who does a programme about how to dress. Is oh, that right? no, not Trini or Susanna, handsome. or the one who was married to Marco Pierre White? No, his name's Gok One. And his name's Gok One? <laughs> so you said that's his name. Who is his? His name? His name is Gok One. His? Yeah, we could his. People... What do you mean, his? <laughs> For God's sake, you don't think that's a woman, do you? <laughs> He's a man, Jeremy. <laughs> there's no that woman, there's no woman would part would comb her hair like that, for God's sake. She put it in a bun before she did that. Who is it? Please tell me, I'm dying to know. He's a television presenter. Of You're a saying it as well, he. <laughs> yeah, well, there he is. Fucking hell, what's the BBC coming to, aren't you? <laughs> 
Did He's on Channel what? 4. <laughs> <laughs> Let me just look at it. Where is it? Wait, which one is it's it? The whole word. Thing. What all that? Yeah, but not that bit. You've done that bit already. Just the intro and the outro. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> <No>. <laughs> Come on. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Hello. I'm Tom Baker. The best thing about Little Britain. Oh, hold on. Can I read that again? Hello. I'm Tom Baker. The best thing about Little Britain. Is that... Am I saying is I'm the best thing about Little Britain? <laughs> oh, all right, all right. Go run it back, yeah. <laughs> Hello, I'm Tom Baker, the best thing about Little Britain. Welcome to this special... <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> Which reminds me, have I got time to tell them about the time I was battling Davros on the planet... No. What? What do you mean, no? <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? Yeah. How can we I say no? He wasn't watching. Yeah. Yeah. A round of applause for Mr. Steve. <laughs> yeah. But you just raise your weight. Just a what are you going to do? I'm what are you going to do? <laughs> oh, come on, that's how you got the job in the first place. <laughs> 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 I must say, he's got a nice light touch. Yeah. <laughs> he's very pessimistic, you know, Bill. Is he? Yes. About, about the planet. Yes. You yeah. think it's all over? He thinks it's pretty well all over, yes. And I noticed the other day, he said that, uh, on account of global warming, that his legs are getting shorter. <laughs> And really? I, I noticed Bill, I, know, I was in a studio with him the other day, yeah. and he could scarcely get up the steps. <laughs> I've, I've, heard, I've heard if he, sticks, if he sticks Velcro on his bottom, he can pick fag ends off the floor. <laughs> Are there going to be no, many of these? Oh. <laughs> this is the row of... When Paul said there are a few that retakes, that was Jonathan. he Jonathan meant okay, yeah, okay. It's <laughs> I don't see very well these days, you know. Don't you? No. Did you mention that before the audio cue came out? <laughs> I get oddly enough, you know, Vince, as my sight diminishes, yeah. I get on much better with people. Do you? <laughs> now that I can't see them. <laughs> and partly cos they're not there. <laughs> fact, I've just started to fling with my wife. Have you? Mm. <laughs> if she finds out, she'll be furious. <laughs> oh, and what is it now? <laughs> Hello? I'm Tom Baker. Don't forget to watch tonight's Have I Got News For You. Ooh! Ah! Ooh! I see. It, it, it's Halloween. <laughs> I thought it was a misprint. <laughs> I hope I didn't scare you. <laughs> <laughs> or do you want it more naturalistically? <laughs> I've only got 15 seconds for this trail, and I've just wasted five of those seconds telling you that don't forget to watch Have I Got News For You <laughs> at 9 o'clock with Tom Baker, Ian Hislop and Paul Merton. I like that Tom Baker. I really do. I'm mad about him, actually. He really moves me. <laughs> Ooh. I'd like to go cruising with him. Tom Baker, we finished recording on Thursday afternoon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he told me before the show, he said, I've bought my own grave. <laughs> I said, what do you mean? He said, I've bought a grave in Kent, near... Um, we both live in Kent, and he's bought a grave, and he said, I sometimes visit it. <laughs> <laughs> they flowers. <laughs> Anyone got any jokes? Yeah. <laughs> Ian? There was a very good cartoon of two people arguing and one of them was shouting wag at the other one and the other one was shouting milf at the other one and someone saying, oh, it's all getting very acronymous. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the other day, um, I cracked a joke and this lady asked me, she said, have you always been funny? 
And I said, well, they told me that when I was born, as soon as I was delivered, the first thing I said was, whew, tough womb. <laughs> <laughs> And there's a surprise for the staff at the Windsor branch of Specsavers when they launch their buy one, get one free deal for pensioners. <laughs> oh, <laughs> my trousers just broke. <laughs> I got a, this is a true story. I got a letter from the admissions office of the college I'd applied for at Oxford. Uh, by mistake, admitting me to the college. And then I got another one saying I hadn't got in, and I rang up the admissions tutor, and he said, well, which one did you get first? And I said, well, the one implying I got in. And he said, OK, you can come. <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> so is there another Toby Young who didn't get in? <laughs> <laughs> I never got a letter from Oxford University. I, maybe, that, maybe that was the one that was sent to you. <laughs> Paul Merton was crossed out at the top. Yeah. Yeah. Come along, don't you know? Yeah, it's not who you know, it's who your postman is. Yeah. <laughs> Randy Bumgardner, yeah. 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 We do this as well. <laughs> he's phoned up, he's complaining. Away. Because we know, we know what he is, what he was now, so... We'll OK. Look at you. Brandon Bumgardner is general manager of the press presence guest house. So it's okay. just a throwaway to A legal requirement in case of Mr Randy Bumgardner sues. <laughs> so it's a good bit of information, okay. actually. Yeah. Randy Bumgardner is general manager at the present. <laughs> 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 is it his guest house? His guest... Oh, I see. Oh, yeah. I, I thought it was, like, a and b that he runs. But... <laughs> OK, sorry. OK. Damn, I missed EastEnders. Never mind, I'm sure Ian taped it. <laughs> Join me tonight at 9 o'clock on BBC One for Have I Got News For You with Ian and Paul and a special guest from America. I hope we can find something to talk about. <laughs> Yeah, I wish I'd know in the beginning of the show that I was a special guest from America. <laughs> <laughs> that would have completely altered my performance tonight. <laughs> no, you were asked because the special guest from America couldn't come. <laughs> <laughs> Not really, guys. <laughs> I see how it's going to be now, Joe. No, <laughs> it's not going to be like that. Oh, bloody hell. Should I do a quick episode of Jack and Ori while we're here? <laughs> <laughs> OK. There's up to 17 people watch this. <laughs> time you've ever had that stage direction. I know, that's yes. hilarious. Yes, it is. Yes, it Jack is. Jack in yeah, brackets. Yeah. It's jaunty. jaunty. Yeah. <laughs> I'm quite glad you explained that, actually, cos it's, um... I think it's a typo for jaundiced. <laughs> <laughs> Bored, I think. Hi, everybody, and welcome to this special <laughs> webisode version of Have I Got News For You. <laughs> no, it's just not working for me. <laughs> Never mind what the director says, it sounds false, you know? I, uh, I don't care if he has got a BAFTA or I've got a car waiting, so let's just do this in <laughs> Paul is sick this week, so Frank Skinner very kindly agreed at the last minute to accept the third and final offer of more money <laughs> to step in and replace him. And joining Frank and Ian are Quentin Letts and Miranda Hart. <laughs> Works. <laughs> it's a bit keen for this show. Well... You know, new kid on the block. <laughs> First day at work. <laughs> <laughs> Coffee machine's over there. OK, thanks very much. What uh, time did words? you get the call? Uh, about half past three this afternoon. Oh. I just sit by the phone waiting for work. <laughs> <laughs> at last. <laughs> OK. Yeah, they, they started calling comedians about 1.30. <laughs> I was, uh, I was called at half past six. So. <laughs> <laughs> do you know, I it's a great thing to do a TV yeah. show. If you say something slightly funny before you go on air, you think, I should have saved that. <laughs> Jack's kicking himself now. <laughs> <laughs> we can say it again, but they... Mm. 
They might laugh. They might they, not. They, tr they, they tried to get John Prescott to do the uh, thing instead of you. And is this going to be funny? If it is, say <laughs> 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 Unfortunately, Paul Merton has had to pull out of the show this evening. Uh, he asked me to read out the following statement. I felt I had to do it because there was a real danger that I might win the series. <laughs> Even for me, that would be a joke too far. I was in the supermarket and some, the girl behind the counter asked me what, what a courgette was. She, she, just, she did genuinely say, what's this? Was she working there? Yeah, she was the person doing the beeps. Oh, she was holding a cord. <laughs> she was holding she a cord, yeah. She, she didn't me. just say, what's a cord, No, yet. she was... <laughs> Sorry, yeah. It's quite a tricky thing to yeah, describe. Yeah, let me explain. <laughs> she was holding the cord and went, what's this? Was it not wrapped? It was just as it... Just you bought cor one courgette. <laughs> I live alone! <laughs> <laughs> I bought a cor I bought maybe two... I bought loads of courgettes. I'm <laughs> constantly having parties. <laughs> I love a courgette party. <laughs> <laughs> I saw I Vera Lynn. Vera Lynn was on this morning when she was... I think she was 80. And uh, they said, do you think anyone else... In case you don't know who she is, you know, she was like the fourth... What do you mean, in case you don't know? <laughs> who do you think watches this programme? <laughs> well, well, she was the fourth... You're not on ITV heart. now. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, sorry. When I say the fourth is sweetheart, she wasn't a slag. She, she was... <laughs> She was popular with the armed forces people, singing, at, we'll meet again and all that. And she said, honestly, she said, um, she said, I don't think anyone could have a career like mine. She said, because, you know, wars nowadays, she said, they're just not long enough. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it's not a complaint you hear that often. No. <laughs> Hello, I'm David Mitchell. Hello. Well... <laughs> <laughs> Your delivery suggested that we were on board ship right. and you were on other ships. Hello! <laughs> Hello, I'm David Mitch. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, I can... I'll be all right in a minute. Yeah. You're making him look like a man who doesn't know his own name now. <laughs> it's the element of surprise that I'm hearing uh, in delivery. Hello, I'm... Hello, you know. David. <laughs> I'll, I'll do it more low-key. Yeah, do it more low-key. Low key. Don't be surprised at okay. your own name. He's <laughs> <laughs> doing it. Hello, I'm David Mitchell. Welcome to this special webisode version of Hi Oh, bollocks. <laughs> special webisode episode of Old Bollocks. <laughs> with Donald Sindon. No. Oh. Brian Blessed. The special <laughs> version of people who can't be bothered to turn their <laughs> television on. <laughs> At the BBC issue new guidelines. <laughs> I flew the other day and heard a terrifying announcement. Ladies and gentlemen, we will shortly be landing in Manchester. <laughs> Another one? Is this how you do it, Jeremy? You just get an atlas and just <laughs> put the pin in the end of a sentence, I hate... Ooh, look. <laughs> Milton Keynes. Do you think I wrote those? <clears throat> no, so it's just... like when I read your column, I think, God, I wonder who did this? <laughs> You have to understand that throwing a pen is very insulting yeah. in journalism. <laughs> 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 You're right. Yeah, no, Jeremy's throwing a, a pen at me because he has no use for it. No, there's <laughs> quite a lot of blood. He's drawn blood. He's got the red down in his box face. Drawn blood. Oh, he's drawn blood. Yeah. <laughs> I think you'll find it's ink. <laughs> that's a. That's a. Is it yeah, red? A pen? Black pen. Yes, it's a red pen. What I use to correct Private Eye every week. <laughs> <laughs>